My name is Randy Vanez. I'm from Kewanee, Wisconsin. And myocarditis has affected my life by taking my son's life, Brad, at age 27, five years ago. Brad died on April 18, 2010. On April 16th, he went into the ER in Green Bay, Wisconsin, had stomach pains and chest pains. He was there for five hours. They did tests on him. Could find nothing wrong with him. Sent him home with the diagnosis of no reason for abdominal pains. Um, Saturday, he was feeling better. In the morning, at night, he had bad chest pains again, but would not go to the doctor because they told him nothing was wrong and he was supposed to go back on Monday. Um, Sunday morning, he was feeling better, said he was going to go to work on Monday. And later that evening, his wife went to do some errands and he was fine when she left. He was making supper when she came home. She found he had passed away on the couch 45 minutes after she had left. The Myocarditis Foundation was there and we support them because they were there when we needed them the most. They had the answers we needed. Uh, none of the doctors in the hospital that Brad was treated at had any answers for us. So we turned to them and they were our major support during our time of grief. Myocarditis taking our son has brought our family closer together. You tend to make your priorities very different after you lose someone. Um, Brad was only 27, but he lived a full life. He packed a lot in 27 years, and this is what he would want us to be doing, not dwelling on the past, but moving ahead and doing something so other ones don't have to suffer. I think um, any families that are have a loss of myocarditis, or even if they're living with it, need to contact the Myocarditis Foundation just to see what we have to offer and why we're there and to see that we are there to help and we all know where you've been and that we are all one family now.